welcome to today's lesson, Converting Decimals to Fractions. We're going to start out with a place value table. You can see that the ones place value has already been entered, and we have our decimal. In the spot, right after our ones, we have our tenths place, hundredths place, and thousandths place. Let's look at this with a number. Here I can see that I have 127, and it's in the thousandths place value. So I will write this as 127 over 1,000. The way I say this number is simply by reading the number as if there were no decimal, 127, and then at the end I, write, I read the place value, thousandths. So this is 127 thousandths. This is important in knowing how to convert decimals to fractions. So let's practice reading place value. The decimal form is 0 0.03. Let's first, on the numerator side, write just the number. So I see here is 3. On the bottom, the denominator side, I'm going to simply write the place value. And this is in the hundredths place value. Then I will bring it all together. I had three as my numerator and hundredths as my denominator. So I would write 100 to represent the hundredths place value. You try this example, 0 0.17. If you read the number in your head, it definitely helps when you're writing out the fraction. So hopefully you placed 17 as just the number for the numerator, and it's in the hundredths place value for the denominator. This is all that you have to do to convert a decimal to a fraction. There are a few cases in which you will need to simplify. Let's look at an example. 0 0.15 It has 15 as the number, and it's in the hundredths place value we could have simply read this as 15 hundredths. I know that I have a greatest common factor between these as five. So I'm going to simplify by dividing out of five on both the numerator and denominator. This is going to give me 3 twentieths and I'm finished. So the decimal 15 hundredths is really the same as 3 twentieths. Here is 0 0.44. Why don't you give this one a try? So if you read it from the place value, you would have read it as 44 hundredths, 44 over 100. I see very clearly that they both have a four in common as the greatest common factor, so I'll divide by four. And my fraction is gonna be 11 25ths. Let's recap. The verbal form of the decimal becomes the fraction. The numerator, the number becomes the numerator. So if I was reading 15 hundredths, the 15 becomes the numerator. The place value becomes the denominator. Hundredths would be my denominator. And then when possible, you'll need to simplify by dividing out the greatest common factor. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button to always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.